What up my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have an exciting haul for you and it's a Trader Joe's haul. Who doesn't love a Trader Joe's haul? I even loved watching Trader Joe's haul when I was thousands and thousands and an ocean away from a Trader Joe's. They had some good stuff out and I spent a lot of money. I think it was around $200. I had no business going in there as usual. We're gonna blame it on my best friend. I know she's probably watching this. We're gonna pretend it was her fault, but in reality, it was 100% mine. She sends me stuff on Instagram all the time. So I do kind of want to blame her because man, every two weeks they're coming out with new stuff. And I'm like, I gotta go. I have the FOMO at Trader Joe's harder than I have FOMO for anywhere else. Anyway, so I went to Trader Joe's, did all the things. I wanna to talk to you guys about a few things. So strap in for a little extra long intro today. I'll put a timestamp on the screen twice. I'm gonna do it twice just because there's gonna be two separate topics you may have no interest in. The first one we're gonna talk about is going to be the skincare items I've been testing out at Trader Joe's. And the second thing we're gonna be talking about is an Academy Award moment. We're gonna call it that for now. I brought some items to show and tell today. Three of these items are actually from the haul and I wanted to give feedback on me testing them out because I wanna say, I filmed the haul maybe about a week and a half ago. So that's how um, behind on my life I am in case anybody was wondering. So the first thing I wanna talk about, I touched upon it in the video, but it's this Marula facial oil from Trader Joe's. I had been testing this out because Drunk Elephant's Virgin Marula Oil is one of my ride or die skincare items. It's something I recommend to everybody. I always recommend grabbing it during the Sephora sales because it's pricey. It's $68 for I think an ounce. This one right here is 0.85 ounces and only $6.99. And I'm telling you, it's the exact same product. So that's that. And again, you're, that's gonna be repetitive. But the reason why I'm gonna talk about these two products is because of the fact that I grabbed that oil and had such a great time with it, I grabbed two more products. One is this hyaluronic moisture boost serum. My hope was that this would do another dupe for the drunk elephant. I think it's called hydra facial or water facial or something like that. My hope was that this was gonna be a dupe. It is and it isn't. It's definitely not the same consistency. This is like a clear serum and the water facial one from drunk elephant is more like a moisturizer to me. I actually prefer this to the Drunk Elephant. I would not call it a dupe because the Drunk Elephant one has far more ingredients and maybe those have better you know, results or whatever. But for me personally, the feel and the texture and all of that on this, I prefer. This was also only $6.99. So if you see this at your Trader Joe's, it may be worth trying, especially if you have dry skin. I will, however, say, the Drunk Elephant one, I can wear that under makeup. This one makes my makeup basically just slide right off. It is very serum-y. It is definitely a serum. It's definitely not a moisturizer. So for me, I just use it at night. So there's that. Feedback from that for whatever weight my feedback holds to, you know? That didn't make sense, but you guys get it. You get the idea. We're gonna move on. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. And I know you guys got better things to do than hang out with me. The next thing that I grabbed was this retinol night serum, also only $6.99. This is a 0.3% retinol and it's got baobab seed oil. I don't think I said that right. Okay, so my hope with this one was that my all time, holy grail, if there's no other skincare product I can own in my life outside of moisturizer, cause I could never live without moisturizer. If I had to pick one skincare item, it would be the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Night Serum, you guys. It's literally like skincare usually takes multiple uses, even multiple weeks in order for you to see results. That is the only skincare product I've tried that I see immediate results with. I was hoping the $6.99 or right here was gonna be a dupe for it, but it's absolutely not. I don't even know that I'd recommend spending $6.99 on this. I didn't see any difference whatsoever and I've been testing it for about 10 days. And I don't know, maybe it needs longer. I don't know, but it's definitely not a dupe for the Drunk Elephant. I will link the Drunk Elephant down below. Sephora is having their sale. It starts on April 5th if you're a Rouge member and then goes on from there. I do have a like to know at storefront as well. And I'll probably be doing roundups of my tried and true recommendations from Sephora in case you want to build your cart with some of the things that I've tried. And then I'll also probably share like my wish list and some of the things I plan to grab. That's that. So that's what I need to talk about there. Number two. Okay. The next thing that I need to talk about, I called it my Academy Award moment. And the reason why I say that is because this is so dramatic and it feels so 
weird and almost cringy to do this. I just reached a milestone on YouTube. And for those who don't know, 1,000 subscribers is kind of like the first major milestone when it comes to YouTube. I started this YouTube channel with the hopes of just sharing with friends and family. So if somebody asked me for a recipe, I could be like, hey, this is a really great one. This is how you make it, here you go. It kind of evolved as I was doing it to me wanting to add value to other lives outside of just my friends and family and being like, hey, maybe I do have something to offer. Maybe it will, for me, like sometimes I'll watch something and I might not make that exact recipe or do that exact technique, but it'll inspire me to try something similar that works better for me, you know what I mean? So my thought process was maybe I can add value to other people just like YouTube has added value in my life by watching other people. Then once I had kids, it started becoming something that was mine. Being a mom is the absolute coolest thing ever. Like I'm not gonna lie and I'm getting a little emotional. I'm trying to rein it in, not so easy, but being a mom is above and beyond what I ever thought it could be. However, I have of course, with the adjustment, just like any other new role you take on in your life, you start to lose little pieces of yourself. And so for me, YouTube has become my outlet. It's like my creative space. It's where I can go to, I swear, I just said to my husband the other day, like, I know that I don't physically talk to you guys, but for some reason it really truly does feel like a community here. And I feel like I am in your space and we're like all hanging out together. I don't know how else to explain it. So anyways, th that's the progression of my YouTube. I didn't ever, and if you know me in real life or if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you probably can tell I don't do things because I want to increase follower counts or subscriber counts and chase numbers and all of that. That's just not me. I completely respect the people that do it. So if you see somebody doing it, know that it's probably because it's it's a lot of hard work to do this. And so I completely respect people that do focus on that but that's just not my personal journey. Again, I'm here because I just wanna add value, even if it's one person walks away with one recipe or walks away with one tip or laughs one time at a joke I make or whatever. I just wanna add some value, some light into this world that can get, that can get a little crazy sometimes, right? But anyways, I hit a thousand and I just looked at this, like I didn't wanna talk about it because I thought it was kind of like weird, especially for me and my personality, but at the same time, I'm so grateful and I'd rather you guys think I'm a weirdo than think I'm ungrateful and not just sit here and take a moment really quick especially to the people that have been watching me for a while now commenting like you guys have no idea how much you brighten my day and not just my day can I just tell you my husband will be like did you see the comment from so and so like he loves reading the comments they seriously just brighten my day so I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you if you could indulge me in a little bit of a big sister pep talk moment, I wanna do that. And if you follow me on Instagram, this is gonna be a little repetitive because I, I had this little chat with them. When it comes to doing anything in life, there are going to be people that will make fun of you. There are going to be people that react in a negative way. And that could be a million different things. It could be comments, it could be looks, it could be talking about you behind your back. There's going to be situations that you're in, that you've put yourself in and you're striving for something and there are always gonna be people in the background trying to take that away from you. And so I had to really, when I stepped into this idea of doing YouTube, I had to allow myself to be comfortable with the fact that people are gonna make fun of me. And as a people pleasing person, that's not easy to do. So what I wanna to say to you today is obviously not everybody's starting YouTube channels, but if there's something in your life that you've been putting off or you've been weary about doing because you're afraid to get made fun of, do it anyway, go out and do it. Because you spend more time with yourself than anybody else. It doesn't matter who they are. It could be a spouse, it could be a parent, it could be a teacher, it could be a mentor, it could be your best friend. You do not spend the same amount of time with them that you spend with yourself. So allow your opinion of yourself to be the most pivotal opinion that you have. Allow yourself to do what you're passionate about, what will bring value to your life. Do not allow them to take that away from you. And I'm not saying everybody who does it is a negative Nancy and is awful, maybe you haven't proved yourself to them yet and so maybe they have some valid concerns, prove yourself to them. Prove that you can do it, prove it to yourself. Let me give you the permission to go make those dreams come true, okay? I know that got a lot deeper than expected but sometimes it's gonna happen over here. I should not be left unsupervised. Sometimes it happens and I just go off the rails. And I'm just gonna take the floor while I have it because this is my channel and I can do what I want. I have a permit to just thank my husband. A lot of people ask me, and this isn't a flex, I promise. A lot of people ask me how I do everything and I don't do everything. Nobody does everything, spoiler alert, there's not a single person on the planet that does everything. 
I could not do any of this without him. He steps in and steps up to the plate and steps up far above and beyond any of my expectations. So I just want to take a moment to thank him, not only for his support behind the scenes, but also for gracing all of us with his extra comedic relief when he shows up to the videos. Am I right? And of course, to all my friends and family that were not negative Nancy's and that cheered me on, hyped me up and just were constant support. I appreciate you so much. That truly wraps it up. We're going to get into the haul. I'm so sorry. I did not expect to ramble that much. I knew I was going to ramble. I didn't expect to ramble that much. So let's go see what I spent money on at Trader Joe's. All right. You guys, Trader Joe's couldn't keep me away if they tried. I went back again. We had spring vibes happening with the flowers. So I grabbed some to make myself a beautiful little springtime arrangement. I also grabbed John a bag of Scandinavian swimmers. We're going on a road trip this week so he can have that as his little snack. They had these hold the cone tips out. Now, I want to talk about this. Does anybody else feel like Trader Joe's has started to decrease the packaging? like decrease the package size or the quantity that they give you because three and a half ounces, this box is like really small. I've actually seen Costco sell something similar to this. So I don't know that this is the best deal, but it's hot right now. Everybody wants it. So I saw an Instagram to take those and dip it in the sweet cannoli dip. So we're going to make those dreams come true. I grabbed this organic raw honey. I almost grabbed the Manuka honey, but it was double the price and it's just for a cheesecake recipe. It's not that serious. Like I want good honey, but I don't need to spend $17 to create one cheesecake, you know? I grabbed some of our favorite protein bars. That's gonna be for the road trip. I also grabbed these cookie thins. That's actually gonna be the base of the cheesecake I plan to make. So I'm excited to see how that works out. I grabbed a couple boxes of soft baked snickerdoodles for my sister because I'm sending her a box and I know she loves those. I also grabbed more of these Brookie Caramel Candy Clusters. These are so good, but just like these guys, it's a very small amount in this bag. Like this is the amount down here. It's a very small amount and I think they're either $2.99 or $3.99, so it's kind of a lot, but for a little snack, they're great. John loves these cinnamon bun Jojo, so I grabbed some for him. They also had these lemon animal crackers out and they were either 99 cents or $1.99 for the bag so I grabbed two of those. This is going to be for the cheesecake. I was too lazy to look up how much I needed so I just grabbed two eight ounce packages and I will you know either freeze the other amount or make like a tiramisu or something like that. What else we got? I didn't mean to grab both of these. I meant to grab I first was going to get this then I saw that they had a milk and dark chocolate combo so I was like oh let me get that. John and I recently had from Costco, like it was like a four piece snack pack and it came with pieces of pepperoni, little pita chips, some dark chocolate almonds and some cheese. And I was like, oh, I could recreate this way cheaper. So that's why I was going to grab these. But then I saw this like duo one and I was like, oh, I'll just get this instead. And then somehow this ended up still coming home with me. Not sure what happened, but it's obviously meant to be. So we will enjoy those. Chocolate mousse eggs. These are like their little Easter treats. If you ever see these mousse things that Trader Joe's sells, they're all so good. So I grabbed one of those. I also grabbed this Asiago cheese because when I was in high school, there was this restaurant that had a bread with like a dipping sauce and it was absolutely phenomenal. And one of my high school friends actually just sent me the copycat recipe for it. And it calls for Parmesan cheese, but I decided I'm going to just be a rebel and go with Asiago instead because this looked really good. So I grabbed that. It was about $5 in case anybody was wondering, but it looks really good. They had these pizza party potato chips out. I didn't like their pizza party roll chips that they had, but I'm hoping these are going to be good. I also grabbed some cotton candy grapes because I'm a sucker for a marketing play. I doubt these are worth it, but whatever. Pita crackers are going to be for the little snack packs that I was talking about over here. I saw this tomato feta soup. I went to Costco the other day and they didn't have their tomato basil. So I was going to recreate it. But then I saw this and I was like, well, maybe I don't have to recreate it. So I grabbed that. I also got this garlic infused Spanish olive oil because of this dipping bread dipping situation I was talking about. Three bags of the orange chicken. These are just our favorite to have on hand when we don't want to think about dinner, don't want the mental load of what's for dinner. Those work out great with some rice and vegetables. I also grabbed some of these fruit sauce thingies for the kids. 
I didn't grab any at Costco the last time I went. I should have, but I just forgot about it. So I grabbed these instead. It's a little pricey. I think it's $2.99 for a box of four. So not awful, but not great. We're going to talk about this, guys. We're going to talk about this. This Marula facial oil from Trader Joe's. If you've ever tried the virgin marula oil from Drunk Elephant, this is an absolute dupe for it. I bought it the last time I went. This is $6.99. The Drunk Elephant one is $68. $6.99. I've been using it for like maybe three weeks now. I'm absolutely obsessed. It's so hydrating. It doesn't feel greasy. It's just amazing. And why did you buy six, Kate? It's not for me, okay? I'm just so obsessed with this that I'm gonna send it to almost everybody I know. And I don't know that many people, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm gonna send it to five and I got an extra one for myself because I don't wanna run out. Since I had such success with that skincare situation, I decided to pick this up. It's a Hyaluronic Moisture Boost Serum. Drunk Elephant has another one. I think it's called like a water facial or something. And it's really good and i'm wondering if this is a dupe for that then they had this retinol night serum and like all of these things were like 6.99 so totally worth trying for me so i grabbed this one here's the back if anybody cares these are the all the things the directions so there's that and then last but not least my friend had asked me to check if there was any new body butters this was the only one i saw they usually have the body butters kind of in a, like a circular jar, but this is the only one I saw that they had. It was, uh, we have a time difference. So I, she wasn't awake yet for me to find out if she wanted it. If she doesn't want it, I will gladly use it. So that is everything from Trader Joe's today. All right, you guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and clicking on that thumbnail. I especially want to thank you if you got through the intro, because I know that was the longest intro of all time. But there was just so many things on my heart that I wanted to talk about today. It's usually not that lengthy over here. I do ramble a lot, so I don't want to set up expectations that I don't ramble. I surely do, but that was excessive even for me. But if you did end up enjoying this video, please feel free to go check out the other videos on my channel, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe before you leave. I hope I brought you all whatever you needed when you clicked on that thumbnail, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye!